<laughs> Dracula! Or should I say Melovin, who starts his performance in a vampire's coffin? Shall we talk about Ukraine? Let's do this! Yes, Melovin's Ukraine, or rather, Ukraine's Melovin, begins his performance on top of a two-tier piano, and the top tier is a coffin. He lays back, the doors open, he emerges looking very, very vampish. He is so on trend, avant-garde, elegant, and a little crazy. You know, his name is Alexander McQueen meets Halloween. <laughs> So it makes sense that he looks like a high fashion vampire. It's instantly striking, visually arresting, well done. The piano sets on fire again, underneath it. It's like, you know, the furnace downstairs, kind of like in Down Abbey, downstairs is where the fire is heating all that food. He's up on top getting all warm. This is very similar to Vidbeer 2018, the national selection, but I think it just looks more expensive and more impressive. He sounds great. He looks, how do I phrase this? In Ukraine, he was deliberately trying to freak people out. Now, although he's more vampish, he just looks more fashion as opposed to Halloween. Mm -hmm. So I think he's gone in the right direction. I like both Melovins, don't get me wrong. You gotta be yourself, express yourself. But when you're doing a mass competition, it is nice, you know, a nice strategy to kind of tame it down a bit. In any case, I was really impressed with this. This is one of my winners of the day. I think that Ukraine is onto a good thing. Yeah, I really liked it and I think my main quibbles are just small ones because for the last few years Ukraine have kind of shaken it up a bit yeah. compared with Vidbeard that, um, oh I can't even remember their name, the rockers from last year and Jamala. Torvald. Yeah, oh, Torvald and Jamala. They came to Eurovision and they upped the ante on their staging. Yeah. Whereas Milovin has decided his Vidbeer staging is fine and he's just tweaked it slightly. Like, mm. it's not very different. It's, it's like just the same child has evolved slightly and grown. And yeah. the big difference really is the coffin rising out of the coffin. Yeah. And I don't know, I thought that maybe he might have more fire and more flames mm. and all this kind of stuff. It's still really, really good, but I wanted more flames and stuff. Um, yeah, like I don't know if there's much more to add. Like the only thing I like it, but I'd be c concerned that maybe people might be alienated by this spooky vampire. Um, but yeah, the song is probably, along with Sweden, the strongest pop song of the day. Um, his vocals were very good. His diction has improved substantially. We know he's singing in English. Beforehand, it was what language is that? Um, but yeah, it's probably one of the winners for the day, if not the winner. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like the intro. I mean, this is one that only a very few select Eurovision fans will get, but it's very Alistair Black from the WWE, that kind of whole entrance thing. I know that <laughs> neither of you know what I'm talking about, so I'm just going to keep going. Girl, we had this chat. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah, I, I like that. And then it kind of just... That's the new element that I like, but the other new elements I'm not too certain about because I loved the way that it all caught fire in the Vid Beer final. Mm. And now it's only like a few steps and it's not quite as effective. I get that, you know, it's like the heat from below and, and, and it, it's behind him, but I don't know, it just kind of felt like it was missing something and the stage that it's built on doesn't look as good because that was more industrial from Vid right. Beer. It's a, it's a bit more professional, but I kind of like that almost rough and ready kind of that has been bolted together kind of thing because mm. it looked fragile and like it could fall apart at any moment. This looks almost too safe, which either means a lot about Ukrainian health and safety laws or, uh -huh. um, or Portuguese. But no, his diction is a lot better. Yeah. I do think that it's, I, I don't know, I kind of was hoping that this would be like the standout of the day. And it is good, but again, it's that thing where you've got fire, but Hungary have already out, outdone you with fire today. Mm. Um, but you know, he looks really good. And yeah, the diction is such a winner that that does really help lift it because that was a big complaint before. And it's still a really good song. I just think that it's not quite, it's not a winner for me today, yeah. but maybe that's just because I loved Vidbeer so much. People watching this for the first time will think, They'll probably be like wowed by that kind of weird gothy like vampire thing at the start. Yeah. And that's what we were saying, like 
that's a gimmick that people will talk about back in like the UK totally. and places like that. So, yeah, I think that he was slightly holding back vocally today. Mm. He wasn't putting his full thrust into it, which is understandable. You've got to conserve your energy. He is an artist. He knows when to let it out, when to stomp it out, and when to pull back. For instance, during one of the early run-throughs, he actually didn't sing when he was on the piano. Instead, he adjusted his microphone. This is sensible. This is a sensible approach. You need to make sure that you are comfortable as a performer, as an artist. He was, you know, taking in the environment. He wasn't concerned with impressing us fools in the press room. No, no, no. He was setting things up to slay later. I'm really confident about it. I think, actually, in the next rehearsal, we'll see more fire. It's probably just a cost-effective measure. Let's not use all our gasoline all at once yeah. in this first, yeah. you know, rehearsal. Let's kind of save it and slay it later. I just feel really positive about this. I won't say that I'm underwhelmed, but I do take your point that at Vidbeer, perhaps it felt more high impact mm. after the coffin element, because the coffin element is a great new addition. I think it was just because he was holding back, because so much of the strength of this is in Melo Melovin, and it's when he decides to unleash, we will feel the heat. Mm. Final thoughts. I, while I'm underwhelmed, I still think that this is probably the song that will win the semi-final. Mm. That it's just a bit less clinical than Sweden. Um, and I don't mm. think there's any other songs. I think it's between the two of them to win because I think Australia have fallen away slightly. Yeah, as long as it doesn't freak too many people out, I do think it has a, it has a strong chance of winning. I do think a couple of songs, like uh, songs that we weren't expecting in our threatening that, like Moldova or Hungary, but um, mm. yeah, I think that I think that it, he does have a really good chance. And let's not be like let's be frank, he is qualifying. There's no doubt about that. Oh, done. Like it's still really good. I just want to kind of hope that there is a little bit more fire. I guess. Halloween, Mama Queen, Mellow Vin, you slay. That's what we think. What do you think? Are you flying the blue and yellow flag for Ukraine? Do you think he can win this semifinal? Is he a contender to win Eurovision? You want to play that piano? Why are there only two tiers? Should there be three or do you prefer the one? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. And leave that like. And we will see you later. Bye! Bye.